Welcome to the HammerFiber.com studio and welcome to Hammer Community. I'm your host, Bobby D, and uh, today we have our co-host is, uh, hey, we're going to call it Lucy Goosey Friday now, Steve. You like that, right? We're going to have your co-host, Steve Peck, with us. And, uh, but first, we want to uh, uh, let you know that we're thrilled to see the activity on Facebook. Let me tell you. Um, most of you don't even know us yet. I mean, we're just starting to build this community for a better internet. And if that's you and you want to champion the cause for better internet, very, very critical that you engage with us here at hammercommunity.com. But I want, to, um, I want to recognize some people that we haven't even met yet and that are forwarding our posts and our videos. And uh, Michael Applegate, thanks so much for unconditionally sharing Shirley Bynum, uh, Lorraine Lewis, Joel Gray, Elsie Martinez, Marcy Lacourt, Shirley uh, Bynum, um, oh my goodness, a lot, M M Melanie Alsushaw, I hope I pronounced that probably, and there's a whole lot more, and we're going to do that, we're going we're gonna to make you aware of who's engaged, and this is going to be a, a perk and recognition program Oh, yes, for those who really engage with the community. So very, very, very exciting. So, but before we pull in Steve today to update you on what's really happening uh, for a better internet, a new kind of internet at Hammer Fiber Community, what I want to do is I want to make you aware that there are three main websites where you can stay in tune with what's going to sweep the U.S., ultimately Canada, and the rest of the world. And um, you're probably on the site right now, Hammer Community dot com is where we're streaming now you may be viewing the um, uh, the webcast through other social media but if you want to interact with us this is the best place hammercommunity.com now today we will be talking about the markets that are open the upcoming markets but for those of you who are listening in say oh well I'm not in that market hey listen uh, we want you to champion the cause for the hammerfiber.com technology to come to your market area and um, just click to sign the petition at hammercommunity.com. You'll see it. Sign the petition for better internet, and we'll tell you a little bit more about why and how you're going to benefit by doing so. All right? The next site is, um, let me see. It's, uh, oh, let's go to that site, hammerfiber.com. That's the technology, the product website, the internet service provider. Um, you'll see where we're open, where we're going and you'll understand how revolutionary this technology really is and how it can solve your problems. So that's hammerfiber.com. Jot that down. Keep it as a favorite, all right? And the corporate site, if you want to know why this uh, Internet technology is poised for tremendous success, number one, Hammer Fiber is a public company, so you'll get all that information at hammerfiber.biz. That's hammer fiber.biz. You want to meet the people behind the scenes, people on the board. And in fact, you've already, some of you already met some of these executives and we plan to bring them on the show. So you really get a connection with them and you understand that there's a team behind the technology that really, really care about people and the need for better internet because better internet is no longer a luxury. It is a necessity. I think you would agree with that, right? So, hey, without further ado, let me, um, let me pull in my partner in crime, Mr. Steve Peck, and uh, he's coming in. Yes, Steve. Steve. How are we doing? We're doing good, man. Thank you for being here on Friday the 13th. Oh, it is Friday the 13th. Woof, woof. Big, big things are happening. And Definitely. If you're, if you're a cord cutter, today's a really big thing. You have to go to Amazon, uh, and uh, Lore starts today. Oh, really? So the Lore TV show? Right starts today but it's only available um as a cord cutter uh, as a cord cutter so maybe you want to talk about that maybe some people never heard the term cord cutter what's what's that movement steve what? yeah so it, it's i didn't used to know this either till just recently that uh so if you have internet you can uh have internet without having traditional tv or cable but you can use things like Amazon, Netflix, Hulu, and there's a whole bunch more, and actually pick and choose the content that you want to receive. You know, if you like NFL football, you can get the NFL little app, right? And uh, you get a little box, 
in uh, the you know the box. You can pick up at the you know the local discount store. Pick it up and uh, um, go from there. So basically, a little bit more freedom uh, as a cord cutter. I think that's a some people, some generations understand it understand it quite nicely. They they want to move, and they want to be they want to bring their technology with them, and they don't want the hassle of having to call the local company and run cables to their house to get right connected. Right, and you can and you you have freedom of time. So no longer do you have to go and say, oh. I'm, I'm going to watch, you know, my show, you know, um, a lot of people have a pr- particular thing that their favorite show. My show is on Tuesday nights at eight o'clock or nine o'clock. Well, geez, there's something else going on Tuesday, at nine o'clock. I either got to give up my show or I've got to, I can't go to the thing. Right. So one of the two things has got to happen, but with the, the kind of technology today in the cord cutter world, uh, you just watch it when you want. It's really, it's really Content on demand. Exactly. You watch, it, you watch it when it's when you want to. More selection, more freedom, and and definitely more affordable. Yeah. Right. Because Def- yeah. B- uh, what most people don't understand is that. And Mark um, Stogdill talked about that. The CEO of Hammer Fiber last week. Uh, setting up operations for Hammer Fiber is more cost effective. They don't have to run all the fibers. Right in the ground, they're actually wireless fiber technology. Again, hammerfiber.com. But we're here to talk about the people as well. And hey, listen, I want to do a shout out, Steve, today to um, we're starting to meet. Well, in fact, you can tell the story. You met a lot of the people at home office in, uh, in Jersey, yeah. right? And um, so shout out going out to uh, customer service reps at Hammer Fiber, Jose Ruse, woof woof. All right, Ashley Reddick um, and Joe. Barrett, VP of Operation, and uh, we met yesterday uh, for the first time, Mike Yankoski, Director of Sales and Marketing, just uh, some amazing quality, high quality people, and uh, I'm thrilled about that because technology is only as good as the people behind it, right? Yeah, most definitely, and they're really committed to delivering, uh, you know, we talk about a new kind of internet, they really want to deliver an internet and a good customer experience, they, you know, they answer the phone when you call, they want to talk to you. They, you know, they're people, and they want to remain people. Right. Yeah. It's you know, and they want to treat you like a person. Right. It's uh, humanizing the internet at the end of the day, right? Yep. So, exactly. You took, a, you took a trip out there. Um, I what did was that, last month. It's just been, to- yeah, it's been a month, six weeks, something like that. And uh, you know, I jumped in a car, rode up as a couple hours away, uh, but it was really interesting because I had heard about the technology. That's live. It's live and running in a, in Atlantic City, New Jersey, right outside. So I went up, and I hadn't really seen, hadn't seen it before. Right. Right. I I'd heard about it, but a lot of times, you know, I'm kind of one of those people. Maybe I'm from Missouri. You have to. Uh, I have to see it to really believe it. Right. It's like, yeah, okay. They're you know maybe to feed me a bunch of baloney. Right. So I went up, and sure enough, there's really a place. And they have real people, and they have real technology, and I had a chance to see it uh, in action. So it's cool. I, you, and what is there to see? I mean, the, the, for the people who are not in tune yet with HammerFiber.com, and we encourage you to visit their website, is that they can deliver high speed on demand to markets that uh, don't have access to the cable. So it's on, like, for example, if you have three gamers in the house and you and your spouse want to watch a Netflix movie or someone's working online doing a web conference and everyone's doing their own thing, that's extremely demanding on bandwidth. And what happens quite often is that the gamer's going to get frustrated, the person trying to watch the Netflix movie, they're going to see the video buffering. But Steve, you witnessed uh, a lot of monitors going there. So let, let's... Uh, Give them a little bit of a tour. Uh, first of all, here's uh, sure as you pulled yeah. in the parking so, lot, right? I pull in a parking lot. You know, they gave me directions, and sure enough, there it was. You know, on the building, big sign. Uh, you know, and it's kind of like a strip mall right outside of Atlantic City. Right. And um, there they are, next to another c- company who participates in a, a different kind of technology. But um, it was that de- you know you can find it. It was easy to find. Right. And then we went inside, and here's one of the things that was really cool. Right there, this is four. There's there's only one, um, one service going into this building. 
right? So here they are, um, and they're running. That's a little test there. They have four TVs, and today you receive it on a satellite. So in your house or your location, you have like a satellite. It looks like a satellite dish. But it's, it's not, not a satellite. A, it, it's no. not a satellite but dish. It. You'll notice they're actually pointed towards the ground. Right. You know, there's tons more of them um, waiting to be installed. But here's it. All those TVs that I, we saw before, and here they are again off. But I saw multiple these each on different channels. They're all using the same service. There's two more out in the lobby area. I I saw them running without you know. There's, they're all running off the same service. No fuzzy pixelation. You know, no buffering. Anything. It was just live. Like I was right there. No you know, buffering. That's amazing like, because. You can have just a, a a wired connection, and if you don't have the bandwidth, and uh, you can get the buffering and get frustrated, and especially for those uh, for individual entrepreneurs who need to send on the upload, they need to send documents or m movie files because they're producing movies or pr 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 uh, yeah. producing music file. These are big files. Um, most people think, oh, I got internet, right? I've got in high speed internet, but they don't realize that not all. High speed internet is created equal. In most cases, that people don't even have the upload capacity to get the work done. For example, for me uh, as a webcaster or anybody doing webcasting, you need upload speed and you need stability and you need it on demand, and that's what they do. So, one little sort of dish was fueling all those monitors, Steve, the boardroom and everything else. Right. Amazing. Yeah. So, so that's all running off of one, right. uh, one signal coming into the building, wow. and you know, it gets broken out. Uh, just over the wires, so it's cool. Very, very it's very cool. Exciting. So uh, we've had a lot of engagement, like we mentioned at the beginning of the show, on Facebook, and uh, I know you've been monitoring them as well. And uh, what are you yeah. seeing? Uh, anything to report on Facebook? I'm seeing cool things. So uh, hopefully you can see this. If not, I'll, I'm going to tell you what it is. But this is uh, Ida May Anderson Jackson put this up. Tell me if you can see that. Jeez. Right. Oh yeah, we heard about that. Was a response. <laughs> that was a response to the ad we had running, uh, and uh, she was just excited about it. Uh, that was pretty cool. And then uh, Harold Skipper Jr., he, he wrote us and said that, unfortunately, I'm stuck with Comcast uh, because of the apartment complex I live in. Uh, it only has Comcast. So if that's the case for you, you probably want to start talking to your building people about looking for alternatives and let them know about Hammer Fiber, and they, maybe you know they can check it out. Right. And Steve, let me add to that real quick, because um, the individuals who don't know how to reach management, they can come through community here with Steve and I. We have direct access. We speak to management and uh, the executive of this company on an ongoing basis several times a week. So we can convey your message and your need directly. All right. So very important that we build community here to champion better Internet. Who else, Steve? Yeah. Uh, D Dion does more. Uh, <laughs> There's kind of a, I don't know what the right word is. It's so, double question marks. How long before this company actually comes to town? In what town? Um, I don't, I don't know. Loaded question. <laughs> From there, I don't know, but I, I do know the answer to it a little bit. And are they going to provide a cable service too? It's actually a great question. Two things. So it's already in and around Atlantic City, New Jersey. Up, right. Operational running. Uh -huh. And this may have come from Baltimore, Baltimore area, right. and we're looking at probably eight months, nine uh, months. Eight, no, no, they, six they, months. Yeah, they say the last quarter six. of 2018, so end of March, beginning of April, uh, they'll be delivering service in the Baltimore right. area, apparently. Yeah, so it'll be there, and you know, one of the things... You, yeah, one of the things you want to make sure you do, if you're listening to this, um, if you have it or don't, whatever, to, the, the point you want to do is you want to make sure you go and you get your friends and your neighbors also to go and sign the petition for better internet because right. the, uh, well, create the priorities of where do they go next. That's the... Right. I cut you off, Steve. Sorry on that. I was showing the community site, didn't realize they didn't have your audio feed. So receive Not a, that. Tell them to go so, to uh, hammercommunity.com, right? Hammercommunity.com. You can go there, and you can click on the sign a petition for better internet. 
Uh, if you see our Facebook ad, you can share that in your community with other people. You can share actually the hammercommunity.com. Right, right. And what you want to do is you want to get your friends and neighbors to also sign the petition because uh, collectively you indicate demand, right? So exactly. if a whole bunch of people from your zip code or neighborhood, uh, your town, neighborhood right. if they all say, hey, we want this, it's going to help create priority for your neighborhood to get the service. Right. And also, Steve, one of the perks for uh, signing the petition is when service is available in the neighborhood, the individual who came into the petition, it's all time stamped by date and time, they get yep. priority service if they want the service, of course, but they're, they're in queue. So if mm -hmm. you're listening in Baltimore. But also, let's talk about the other cities in Jersey. You referred to Atlantic City. There's three other yeah. market areas. So go ahead and um, yeah, that. I can't remember their names, though. Well, I do. Uh, all right, good. Okay, Venture City, and that, that's where the, the hammer store happens to be. Yeah, at, exactly. And, and Margate City and uh, Longport. Service is available there, and there's, uh, again, if you go to hammerfiber.com, you can put in your zip code. But you know what? If you put your zip code and you don't see service available, don't panic. It, we're, we're, we're right around, all around it. So communicate with us. Hammer Community, become an active member, a proactive member here and we'll champion your cause. And then, you know what? Um, we're gonna sweep the country. There's 49 markets that are targeted. We're not gonna talk about them other than Baltimore for the last quarter of 2015, uh, 2015. My goodness, what was I thinking about? 2018, and um, very exciting. So uh, it's community building, demand, it's people driven. Yeah. And, uh, it's technology driven and supported by a company that is uh, doing all the right things, hammerfiber.biz. As a reminder. Some, yeah, something else. If you're in an area, if you're like you're in Atlantic City or one of the one of the towns right outside of there, um, if you're renting, or if you know someone who's a landlord owns a building, all those things, you, but doesn't live there, you right. want to reach out and make sure that they're also uh, signing the petition and reaching out so that they can get service and you can get service because uh, there's a lot of rental properties along the coast there. And those people don't necessarily live in the community, the people who own those houses or buildings. Um, you want to reach out to them so they become part of the community, too, because that's going to help you get it faster. Right, exactly. Now, we're getting a lot of great feedback. I mean, we've only been active on Facebook and uh, doing the live. This is our what, fourth webcast, Steve, I guess. And, yeah. um, and we're really going to go into momentum. We're every Wednesday live on the Hammer Community, but eventually we're going to bring content business entrepreneurial uh, entertainment tuesday to friday at noon north american eastern obviously an archive but uh, you know we don't always get the greatest comments i mean just uh as a result <laughs> of uh doing a live webcast with uh, the ceo mark uh, stogdale we we had an, uh, a person who accused us of being an electron and uh you know it's, uh, it is what it is but uh, what he helping us create awareness so thank you so much for that and uh, hopefully you can visit the home, uh, home office, the store in uh, Ventnor City and really see what Steve saw and uh, be optimistic that uh, there are solutions to challenging internet connections in Jersey and a lot of yeah. the U.S. is not just Jersey, Baltimore. I mean, we're getting reports. It's a nightmare out there, isn't it? So, yeah, there's a flip side to that, too. You may hear that you have, uh, you know, a particular company has fiber coming you know, they're delivering a fiber service, 100% right. fiber. Um, check out the facts because yeah. that may not be true. Right. So very cool. I had a comment from a, a friend on our, on mm -hmm. our Hammer community, Jason Harrington, and I'm going to paraphrase. Well, he's in Canada, and, and I know that they're, they, they've made some installation in Canada already, but, uh, it's, you know, we're not officially talking about it uh, I guess we are. Jason says, unless they plan on running their own cables and building their own infrastructure, they will be using the mansion one, two, three, uh, the three companies that have a monopoly in Canada. And I said, look, Jason, um, and a lot of people will probably be saying the same thing. Uh, Hammer Fiber controls everything from A to Z. They're not at the mercy of other companies. So they can deliver uh, quality service, quality control from A to Z. And because they're not buying from a reseller, guess what? They can, they can offer a tremendous value. So 
they're not necessarily always going to be the lower price, but right now, I'll tell you, if you go to hammerfiber.com, you'll see, wow, for, uh, for their internet and their triple play, very, very compelling. So, um, and eventually we'll be showing you what the triple play is all about, the movie channel. We'll do it online here somehow. I'll figure that out with the help of uh, the staff, amazing staff, right? That brings up a really good point. And I know somebody had asked this question recently. There's really three things. You can get just the internet. Right. You can get um, internet with voice over IP. You can get internet with what people would think of as cable television, right? You with all the television channels and the, you know, all that stuff. Um, when you get all three together, you know, so you get you get the internet plus one or both of the other services, and that's available today uh, in Atlantic City and surrounding areas. Yeah, beautiful. So, Steve, uh, we're going to wrap it up for this Friday uh, the 13th. Thank you for uh, sharing what your eyes saw and experienced in, uh, in uh, Jersey last month. And you checked out the technology before lending your professional uh, experience and voice to uh, champion the cause here. Because, of course, right? You yeah. You got to believe, right? You got to believe and you got to know. So you know. And hopefully everyone will do the same and they'll do their due diligence through um, Hammer Fiber dot com hammerfiber dot biz and stay in tune with us at the community here so uh let's call it a wrap if you're okay with that steve and i'll see you next sweet week. all right very cool thank you thanks so much all have right. a great day so let me uh let me go over here let me go over here let's take that the earmuffs off Woof. all right gotta do my hair all right so uh hope this is informative for all of you and i hope you'll connect with us and on facebook uh, and, and i'll put a banner on that our Facebook community is newkindofinternet.com. You can find us at hammercommunity.com uh, where we stream live, where we are right now, and also an archive. Remember to sign the petition for a better internet because that's going to help all of us, right? Everyone who needs good internet for either social needs or for professional needs. And uh, if you're sick and tired of what you got to put up with, now some of you are doing okay, but some of you are really struggling with getting a good internet connection. And um, so stay in tune with us. So it's a wrap for today. We'll see you next week, Wednesday, 12 p.m. North American Eastern. And uh, I'm your host, Bobby D. And uh, for my co-host, Steve Peck, uh, have a great weekend. We'll see you soon. Ciao for now.